I want to talk to you about peep sight perfection. Your peep sight is so critical to your accuracy because this is your rear sight. So during coaching, a lot of times I tell people, how is your front sight, rear sight alignment? And the best way to really think about what the peep sight really is, is if you think about an older style rifle, iron sight rifle that has a post on the front and then at the back of the rifle, you've got that rear rail and some of them had a hole that you would look through and then you would center your post in that rear hole and then aim on the target. For archery, it's essentially the same. When you're at full draw, your peep sight and your front sight have to be perfectly aligned in order to be accurate. Now, what I'll tell you is any type of variation that you have either left or right or up or down is really no different than adjusting that front sight, left or right, or up or down. And if you've ever sighted in your bow, you know that a little bit goes a long way. So think of what six clicks will do to your sight if you move it left or right. At 50 yards, that's quite a variation of impact. Now, six clicks or six micro clicks really is not that far. So if you think about how easy it is to adjust your head and your peep sight so that that rear sight is not perfectly aligned with the front sight, then your accuracy is gonna be off. So there's tons of different styles of peep sights and also a lot of different sizes. So, and there's also peep sights that have lenses in there or clarifiers or verifiers. So let me talk about these three topics. First is gonna be the style of peep. There's tons of them out there. The older style dealt with an issue that the industry had previously with older style compound strings that were either not made right or had a, a, a material that was inferior to the materials that we have today and the string building process that we use today, which gives you a much better string and has much less variation in what that peep's doing as it goes from the resting position back to the face. Years ago with strings that stretched a lot or weren't made properly, there was a lot of rotation as that string was drawn back. And so to prevent your peep being offset, there was a lot of peeps that had a small connector that would have a piece of peep tubing that would go forward to the cable. Now that peep tubing dramatically reduced speed but also increased a lot of noise and eventually they would start to dry rot and they would pop off many times at the wrong moment. So the industry as we work towards better bow strings we were able to just throw these things away because again they take away speed, they add noise and they're not always dependable. Now for other peeps, the thing that you need to really think about is, one, is it a high quality peep that isn't gonna cut my string? And to know that, it's best to look at reviews or ask your shop. I've definitely ordered some trying to take a cheaper way out for a peep site and had it not be made properly and give my string some abrasion and cuts and eventually had to replace the string because I didn't have a quality peep sight. Now there's magnesium peep sights. Most of them are aluminum. Um, there's also some composite ones. What you need to understand is the more weight you have in the center of your bowstring, the more that bowstring is gonna have inertia and travel forward during the shot, thus causing more vibration, but also the added weight is gonna cause a reduction in speed. So a lot of the more simple peep sights are more practical. Now I've shot just a regular old true peep for most of my career. I've tried a few other ones, but I keep going back to a regular peep. And the other thing is when, when we talk about peep diameter or the size of the hole in the peep, that kind of brings us into a next issue, which I'm asked about a lot, and that's what size peep do I use? I personally use a 3 16 peep 95% uh, of the time while hunting, 
I do change to a smaller peep during uh, once I have a bow set up for tack events or if I'm doing indoor shooting and I'll talk to you why I go to a smaller peep pretty soon. Now this size allows me to match my front sight diameter with this hole as I'm looking through it. And that's really what you want. You wanna have a perfect eclipse. So whatever peep diameter you have, when it's sitting in front of your eye at full draw, you wanna have that black shadow make a perfect halo right on the outside diameter of your front housing. Now with that in mind, there's a few things that you need to know. Obviously, if you go up to a larger size aperture, it's going to force you to have a little bit bigger peep sight. So my experience is the larger the peep sight, one, the more likely you are to be slightly off center with front sight, rear sight adjustment without really knowing it because you have two huge circles that you're trying to perfectly align. And sometimes that's tough to do, especially in low light conditions. However, the benefit to a larger peep sight is that you can gather more light through it. So in hunting situations, you really would not want to have a target size peep sight because you're going to be really restricted on how much light is coming through the peep and you're going to have a very dark picture through there. Now the smaller your front aperture, and for our scopes that we have on the Spot Hog NEs, we have multiple rings so that you can really choose the type of ring that you want to fit your rear peep size perfectly. Now for target archery, or in this case, this is my tack bow, so total archery challenge. This is what I refer to as my hybrid setup. So it's kind of a cross between a full target setup and my hunting setup. And in saying that, this peep that I have is about half of the diameter as I have when I'm hunting or when I'm just strictly shooting indoors with a very specific type of lighting and also a very specific type of front scope. So for indoor shooting, I'll shoot a very, very small peep, which if you look through this, you'll think, how can you even see anything through it? But in indoor archery, you have good lighting, your target is supposed to be lit properly, or if you're shooting outdoor for a tournament situation, the targets for the most part are gonna have good lighting on there. You're not gonna be shooting during the first hours of the morning or the last 30 minutes at dark. So you're able to gather enough light even through this smaller peep sight. However, your front aperture for most target archers is much smaller and there's also magnification in that front sight and so the smaller aperture helps clear up the blurriness of that front lens, which is why we have such a small peep hole. Now for my hybrid setup, again, I'm in between my hunting setup, which is a 3 16 and where my indoor setup is. So it's a little bit smaller. And when I'm using the smaller ring aperture, I am just barely cutting off this white ring that's around this scope. So if I'm perfectly centered, I really don't see any of that white at all. And if I'm off centered, the white starts to appear while looking through my peep sight and I know I'm off center. Now the importance of that is when I'm shooting total archery challenge events, there's a lot of longer shots. And if you wanna be more accurate at longer distances, then a smaller peep is going to help you tighten groups just because it'll force you to center front sight, rear sight better. Now when I'm hunting that bigger size, I actually have a perfect eclipse around the outside of that white. So I'm able to see all of the white and I'm able to see a little bit more of my bubble, um, but I'm also able to still have 
enough light to shoot during those last minutes of the day or the first minutes of morning or being in a hunting blind. Now what I'll tell you about your peep sight is that the size that you choose is going to also be determined by the type of bow that you're shooting and that bow's string angle at full draw. So as your bow is pulled back, that starts to make a triangle as the bow stops. Your string can either have a very broad triangle like this, which a broad triangle would allow the string to sit a little bit further forward on the face, and then your peep is gonna be right in front of your eye. If you have a very sharp string angle, where the peep has to be much further forward of your eye, then your peep is actually gonna to need to be a little bit bigger size in order to match that front scope simply because it's further from your eye. So I refer to this as eye relief. And a big reason why I choose the type of axle to axle length and brace heights in a lot of the bows that I collaborate with is because I have a specific place that I like a peep to be relieved from my eye that allows me to shoot a peep sight that still gives me really good clarity, but also doesn't start to get too far away from my eye, which my experience has been that it actually reduces my accuracy by having the rear sight too far forward, which is why I don't like super sharp string angles. So your peep sight is absolutely critical to accuracy. There's really the three different things that you need to focus on. Size is gonna be one. The type is gonna be the other. Now, the one thing I didn't talk about yet was clarifiers and verifiers. So those are peep sites that actually have lenses installed in the peep site. And some peep sites actually have interchangeable lenses, which those help people that struggle with vision or if they shoot a very high power magnification in the front of their, their scope, then a lot of times they need the variation in rear magnification to clarify the sight picture that they're seeing and make either the target more crisp or make their pens more crisp because of that magnification. Now the downside to a peep that has a lens in it, whether it's a clarifier or a verifier, the downside is one drop of rain or dirt inside of that peep with that small of a lens gets to be very difficult to clean, especially in a hunting situation where you might not recognize it until you have to draw your bow back in the moment of truth. And there's one drop of water that's making your peep sight look like a foggy pair of binoculars. So peep sights are absolutely critical. You want to always make sure that your diameter for the front matches what your diameter is at the back. And also you can focus on the distance of your sight. If you get too far forward of your bow with an extension, then it's gonna force you to shoot a smaller peep sight because that front sight will actually appear smaller the further you get it away from you. And the smaller your peep sight, the harder it is for you to be able to see in low light conditions. So that's all the facts on peep. Hopefully you pick the perfect one to suit your needs.